Turning our attention to weather, it's that time of week again. Yeah. Tim and Ed, hit the road. They'll never let the bitterly cold <laughs> temperatures stop them. Doesn't make a difference. No, absolutely. And they, they want to get out, get away from us. We don't blame <laughs> them. And tonight, Tim and Ed obviously hit the road. Like we said, they are in Alma, guys. All right, we're live here at the station in Alma, Nebraska, and I'm joined by Kent Schaefer. You're the owner here, and uh, I'm sorry you have to put up with us for a half hour, but thanks yeah. a lot for having us. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. And appreciate it. everybody, Kent's wondering where the heck is Ed, so we put him to work, right? Yes. All right, so let's get right to it. Where is he? He's behind the bar trying well, to make drinks for us. Well, let's get him going. Ed, come on over. Come on. <laughs> now, Can obviously. Can I get you fellas? Can I get you fellas anything well, at all? Bud, I guess. Well, I'm drinking water, so I'm good. You know, I'm working. But uh, are you getting anything done back there? I hope so. I'm going to get this gentleman a bottle of Bud Go right now, it. and I'm going to do it immediately. All right. So, Kent, <laughs> is it cold enough for you? I mean, it's obviously warm in here, but, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, this is the first uh, blast too, of winter we've had. Well, what too, do you think? Too cold for us. I know, and I'm yeah, with you. Are you well, of course, business is probably a little better in the summertime, although you have the hunters right oh, now. Yeah, well, but right. with Thanks, the. Ed. Good job, buddy. You, did you just go and pull the bottle cap off and everything? Yeah, I sure did. I did a good job of pulling the bottle cap off. Do you, do, you, do you think your future is better in bartending than it was in meat cutting? Uh, about the same. I would say it's pretty even right now. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll make our evaluation later. All right. So, Kent, we've got, and I didn't mean to interrupt you. We've got another job for him coming up here in, in about 10 minutes. What are we going to have him do? Well, I think we're going to have him flip a few hamburgers and some steaks and stuff back in the kitchen and well, I he, hope might, he might have you know he got to start out at dishwasher okay and then move up but okay well he's a good sport and i think yeah. he'd be fine with that so get this tonight we're going to be in the single digits it's going to feel like that the wind chill value is minus five to minus 15 tomorrow we're only going to get basically in the low uh, 20s and we're not going to do much better we'll take a look at weather coming up in the mean in the meantime so we're going to have Ed doing a little bit of everything coming up. Now, we only have so much time. Then, of course, we're going to need everybody's help here with picking out where our next town is. And, of course, we blindfold them, spin them around, get them dizzy, and then have them point at the map. Hopefully, we won't end up in Canada because he hasn't been very good <laughs> looking at the map. But you can help us. We'll have Cassie, the bartender, help us if she can. And uh, in the meantime, having fun in Alma. We're at the station. Kent, thanks so much for having us. In the meantime, Jeff and Katie, back to you. We'll see you in about 10 minutes. We'll do a little weather, get a little food, and uh, see if we can uh, have Ed have a little more fun. All right, thanks, guys. This should be called Odd Jobs with Ed. Uh, odd Jobs with Ed. I was just thinking that he's a jack of all trades. He really is. I mean, he sports caster. We, we've seen him cut meat now and now bartender. The man I have to can say, his favorite drink, though, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Loves a Coke. He just popped the bottle top off of that one, too. All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll check in with them in a second.